kids. Today we shall learn about time interval. Let us begin. What do we mean by time interval? The time taken to carry out any activity is called the time interval. Let's understand it better with the help of a few examples. Firstly, let us learn about interval of whole hour. Rita went to the market at 9 a.m. She returned home at 12 noon. How many hours did she spend shopping? In order to find the time interval, we count forward from the starting time of the activity till the ending time of the activity or we count backward from the ending time to the starting time. So, here let us count forward at an interval of 1 hour from the starting time 9 a.m. So, on counting 1 hour from 9 a.m., we read 10 a.m. Then, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the next hour. And 1 hour from 11 a.m. is 12 noon, which is the ending time. So, here we skip counted thrice at an interval of 1 hour and got the answer as 1 multiplied by 3 that is equal to 3 hours. Now, let us count backward at an interval of 1 hour that is from the ending time 12 noon to the starting time 9 a.m. So, on counting backward by 1 hour from 12 noon, we reach 11 a.m. Then 11 a.m. to 10 a.m. And lastly, 10 a.m. to 9 a.m. Here too, we skip counted thrice at an interval of an hour and got the answer as 1 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3. Did you notice counting forward or backward gives the same answer? Thus, we say Rita spent 3 hours shopping. Next, let us learn about interval of 5 minutes. Let us solve an example. Aman started from his home at 8.15 a.m. for school. He reached his school at 8.45 a.m. How much time did he take to reach school? Here, we shall count forward, but this time, the time interval for each count would be 5 minutes from the starting time, 8.15 a.m. So, on counting forward by 5 minutes from 8.15 a.m., we reach 8.20 a.m. 8.20 a.m. to 8.25 a.m. 8.30 a.m. 8.35 a.m. 8.40 a.m. And lastly, the ending time, 8.45 a.m. So, here we skip counted 6 times at an interval of 5 minutes each. Thus, we get the answer as 6 multiplied by 5 is equal to 30 minutes. Answer, Aman took 30 minutes to reach his school. Now, let us learn about interval of hours and minutes. To understand it in a better way, let us solve an example. Rema took an art lesson from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. For how long did her lesson last? We shall follow two easy steps to get the answer. 
Step 1. Count time in hours. We know that 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. gives 1 hour. Step 2. Count time in minutes. Here, on counting the minutes from 5 p.m. to the ending time 5.30 p.m., we get 30 minutes. So, here from steps 1 and 2, we get the total time as 1 hour 30 minutes. Thus, we say Rema's lesson lasted for 1 hour 30 minutes. Lastly, let us learn to calculate the time interval by another method using an example. Jack's favorite television show starts at 3.30 p.m. It ends at 4.30 p.m. What is the duration of the show? So, here the information given is Starting time of the show is 3.30 p.m. And the ending time of the show is 4.30 p.m. Now to solve this, we shall follow a few steps. Step 1. Count time till the nearest hour from 3.30 p.m. So, on counting till the nearest hour, which is 4 p.m., we get the time as 30 minutes. Step 2. Count time from 4 to 4.30. So, here on counting, we get the answer as 30 minutes. So, here from steps 1 and 2, we get the total time as 30 minutes plus 30 minutes, which is equal to 60 minutes. But, we all know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. Thus, we get the answer as 1 hour. Hence, the duration of the TV show was 1 hour. Kids, wasn't it fun learning about time interval?